Well, summertime means time around the grill, and classic grill favorites include, of course, burgers like these sliders, brats, and steaks as well. But Southern Cooking Authority Rebecca Lang joins me now to say how Vidalia onions are also perfect on the grill. Oh, they're perfect on the grill. There's always a nice thing to add a little bit of sweet to your cookout on July 4th, and we have the perfect ways to do it. Well, for people who may not have tried Vidalia onions, explain what is unique about them. Well, the cool thing about Vidalias mm -hmm. is that they're only grown within areas of 20 counties in Georgia. Wow. So we have a tiny area, and you can tell them from around there, mm -hmm. but we have a tiny area down there that has a low sulfur soil. Oh. So we end up with sweeter onions than everywhere else. And they, we're really proud of them. They're the official state vegetable in Georgia, but we ship them nationwide. So you can find them everywhere. And I personally love them. I do throw them on a lot of different salads and that sort of thing. But uh, what amazes me is that some locals will actually eat these like an apple. They do. They'll peel them and just pop them in their mouth and go. And I, I consider myself a local mm -hmm. since I'm from the area. I don't eat them raw like that, but I eat them raw in salads because they're so sweet that you can eat them raw in anything, unlike a white onion where it gets to be too much and it overpowers And things. you're going to walk around with that onion breath all day long. <laughs> but uh, today you're going to show us how to make a raw Vidalia slaw. So yes, what goes into this, this? This is a lot different than a cabbage slaw, which mm -hmm. is what you see a lot at cookouts. So these are actually Vidalias that have been marinated in nothing but white vinegar and sugar. Oh. And we've got the website. Uh, the recipe on your website. Perfect. But we've let them go about eight hours and drained okay. them. So they're almost pickled. They're really mm. sweet and tangy. And then we're going to take them at this stage and I'm going to add a little bit of whole grain mustard. Okay. Just a little bit of mayonnaise. It's not very much. No, nope. all right. I can handle that. Um, you can take that. Mm -hmm. And some fresh parsley. Now, I like flat leaf parsley because I think it's prettier. Oh, yeah. And just That's stir nice this color. together. And this is so nice. You could even put this. I don't know if y'all up here have slaw on top of your barbecue. Yes, sometimes we do. Absolutely. You know, we love our barbecue down south, but we like to put this on top of barbecue too in your sandwich. Oh. So good. But Adds here's nice the finished sauce. You can see then. what it looks like. Oh, absolutely. And the cool thing is we have this program this summer called Flavors of Summer. Mm -hmm. And on our website, we have tons of recipes and coupons. So we can take you right through July 4th and the rest of the summer. Tons of resources on there. Speaking of July 4th, you have deviled eggs deviled and eggs. some sliders. And uh, today at the Kroger in Newport, are you going to be demonstrating some of these I recipes? I am. I'm demonstrating from two to six. Okay. I've got tacos with Johnsonville Italian sausage, and then I'm also doing some mango and avocado with Vidalia salsa. So y'all come two to six. I have sample samples. So come and snack and talk with me and it'll be fun. Snacking and talking. Those are two of my Bob favorite too. things. They sound fantastic. Rebecca, thank you so much thank for you. being here this morning. And again, we have all of the information about the recipes, the, the slaw, the deviled eggs, the sliders on our website, local12.com. So make sure you can check uh, that out and also information about the books and the cookbooks that Rebecca has put together. So a lot of great information there. Rebecca, Thanks again for being Thank here this you. morning. I appreciate it. And make sure you stay with Good Morning Cincinnati on Local 12.2 because we're going to be right back after the break.